Hi, artists. Um, so I just finished editing the next series of videos and I'm really, really excited about it. So I wanted to tell you what's coming up. Um, I think it's no secret that if I'm not working or in the dance studio myself, um, my favorite place to be is on the dance floor. So I have a huge love and vested interest um, in DJs and keeping them healthy and feeling good in their bodies. Um, and so I polled a number of friends and people in the community to find out what aches and pains um, they would like addressed. And so I got a lot of hands and shoulders and neck and um, low backs and surprisingly feet. I hadn't thought of that myself, so that was good to know. Um, and so if you have any friends that you feel would uh, like this information, make sure to tag them, tell them about it in these next few weeks, and I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Bye. All right, DJs, artists, this um, series of exercises is going to be for that time before a set where you're spending a lot of time working um, different switches and knobs and your hands are getting tired. So if you grab a ball, I prefer a golf ball, but it can be a lacrosse ball, um, and you want to be working this meaty part of your hand here and here. And so you can just roll on the areas that feel tight, that feel kind of like they're gonna spasm, that are feeling tired, and just spend some time rolling around there until you can work it out. Um, do that on both hands, and once that's happened, because you've been in this position a long time, if we strengthen the opposite muscles, it can really help relieve some of what's happening in your hand. So go into that position, put a rubber band around it, make sure your wrist is in neutral, and open your hand. Kind of turn your hand into one of those claw machines where you get the toys, yeah? Um, you can add dinosaur sounds. <laughs> um, all right, I hope this, all right, DJs. This is an exercise for when your forearms are getting really tight um, from being in these scrunched up positions with all the knobs. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is work on the forearms. So go ahead and put a forearm down and use the other hand to work on the soft tissue. All of those forearms are already really tired, so you don't want to necessarily use your hands to do the work. You want to use something else so that it doesn't get more tired. Once you've done both of those, then you'll want to place yourself on a counter where your fingers can point at you and then you want to lean forward so that you can stretch your wrists. The important thing here is that this is the eye of your elbow. This is that inner um, portion and you want to make sure that that is facing forward so that you get a really, really good stretch here in your forearms. All right, so sit there, take a few deep breaths and then come up. All right, hope this helps. All right, DJs, you spend a lot of time in this position, working on knobs, your head reaching forward, and your chest scrunched down with your arms in front of you. So to stretch this, we wanna do all of the exact opposite things. So if you start here, the first thing you wanna do is bring your arms down, straighten out your spine, keep your ribs low, but bring your head back so that you're counterbalancing that position and then reach your arms behind you without your head going forward or without your ribs disconnecting from your body. So once you have that, you can go into that position a number of times going between the position you're usually in to a big stretch so that you can really feel your chest opening here and your shoulder opening here. All right, I hope that helps. All right, DJs, here is another really good stretch for the pecs and the shoulders that get really tight from being in this position, working knobs all the time, looking at computers. So grab a stick. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can be a broom that you have at home. It also doesn't have to be stiff. It could be even a belt or a piece of rope. It's um, whatever you have handy. Bring it behind your body. Make sure that your ribs stay down and your head is tucked. So you don't wanna be doing that. Keep it nice and aligned. And then from there, take a deep breath in. And when you exhale, keep the ribs down and the head back as you reach behind you with the stick. Hold there and then release. Take a deep breath in, out. Keep the head and the chest and the ribs back and go as far as you need to to feel the stretch. Some people will feel the stretch here and some people will feel the stretch all the way back here. There's no wrong. Everyone's getting the same stretch. Some people just have to work harder for it than others. All right, hope it helps. All right, DJs, we've been doing a lot of stretching for this pec and upper shoulder area. 
Now we want to do some strengthening so that we can keep that openness. So I need you to grab something flexible. It can be a bungee cord, some tubing, a TheraBand, it doesn't matter. Hold it in front of you. Make sure your shoulders are pushing down into the ground and pull your elbows apart. You want to let the resistance of the band work with you. So you want to go slow. You don't want to be kind of just letting it um, move you around. You want to resist as it opens and as it closes. This will strengthen this mid back area here that will feel a lot easier than when you're trying to keep better posture. All right, hope this helps. All right, DJs, we're continuing with some strengthening for this area in the mid back. So make sure you have your tubing. Watch the previous video if you didn't see this so that you know how to open the band. Once you're in an open position, I want you to hold it there and I want you to bring the band down to hip level and then slowly bring the band up to about chin level and then back down and up. The whole time that you're moving, you're trying to make sure that your head doesn't move around, that your rib cage doesn't move around and that the band doesn't pull your hands in and out. So as you're going up and down, you're gonna feel the band trying to pull you in and I want you to resist so that you have a nice smooth glide and movement all the way down from your hip to all the way down by your chin. All right, and do that a series of maybe 10 times so that you can get some nice strengthening in your upper back. All right, DJs, one of the things that you told me was that your neck and shoulder area here really gets super tight from looking at the computer screen for a long time. So we're gonna do some stretching for your neck to help counterbalance that. So this is definitely the sexiest exercise. We're gonna give ourselves a double chin. <laughs> um, so from the side, it looks like this. I want you to keep your spine straight and you can use your hands to tuck your chin back. You're trying to lengthen your neck as far as you can to counterbalance this position when you're working. So pull back. And honestly, the way that you know you're doing it right is if you're giving yourself some double chins. So you don't have to do this in public if you don't want to, <laughs> but it will definitely help to stretch out this upper part of your back and make your neck feel better. All right, we'll see you soon. Hi, DJs. Okay, so this is another stretch for your neck um, to combat some of the pain that you feel in this area. So if you lean against the wall, keep your ribs down touch your head to the wall, keep your head touching the wall, and then let your head fall to the side. Once it's there, you can add a little bit of an extra stretch, but don't really crank on your neck. It's just a little bit of the weight of your arm. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. Keep your head touching the wall, let it fall to the side as far as it'll go, then just add a little bit of an extra stretch there. Now here, continue to touch the wall and rotate to the side. If you want to give yourself a little bit of an extra push, you can push on your cheek there. And same thing, make sure your head is touching the wall, rotate, and then give yourself an extra push there. And that will help to start loosening your neck um, after long sets. All right, DJs, this stretch is for your low back after a set or practicing. So go ahead and lay on your back, cross one leg over another, bring your arms out to your side, Bring your hips over and let your knee fall to the side. You should feel a really big stretch here in your back. If you want a little bit more, then you can push on your knee so it gets closer to the floor. And if you want a little bit more of a stretch for your shoulder, then you can bring your arm into a bent position. And if you want to stretch your neck a little bit, look away so that you're twisting your spine all the way from the top to the bottom. All right, I hope this helps. All right, DJs, um, the last video that we had, we did some stretching of your low back, but now what we need to do is strengthen your core so that your low back doesn't hurt as much and it'll make you more resilient. So I want you to be on um, your hands and knees, spread your hands really wide, and then bring your knees back behind you. Tuck your toes, make sure that you're keeping this area in your torso nice and tight, and then just lift your knees one inch off the floor. We're gonna hold for a total of 10 seconds for five, four, three, and release. And if you do that a series of three times, you'll get some really good core strengthening. 
All right, DJs, we're continuing with our strengthening so that it helps to prevent some of the low back pain. Um, I showed you a low back stretch and then a core activation stretch, and now we're gonna add something a little bit more functional. So grab a ball, go ahead and place it onto the small of your back. This will make sure that you're not cheating. And then from this position, go ahead and straighten your leg behind you and bring it back in. Straighten the other leg behind you and bring it back in. Do that a total of 10 times and just make sure that the ball doesn't slide off your back. <laughs> Hi DJs. Okay, so this is um, a stretch that you can do either at um, home when you are working and you feel like you're getting tension in your back or when you're at an event and you're feeling stiff from being forward. Um, and you need to kind of balance really quick. So if you just place your hands on whatever surface is kind of near and in front of you, and you push your back backwards, really focus on trying to stretch through here. And then next, pull your chest through your arms and really focus on getting more of an extension here. And so you can move through that movement to stretch your spine. All right. Hi DJs, so we're gonna use a lacrosse ball to help you massage your feet when they're sore after a long set. So put it down on the floor and step on it. You can start by windshield wipering your foot in order to get the muscles at the ball of your feet. Or you can roll through the arches side to side. Or you can just put pressure and let the weight of your body um, ease the muscles on the bottom of your foot. 